Hello everyone, welcome to Animation Tech channel. This video will be about the motion builder and plugins for new relation constraint boxes that I've developed some time ago and they were used in different projects, but now I find the time to share them and I'm going to record this video to have a brief overview of what they are doing. And that will be about the post transform, the aim box, aim like an aim constraint, but the aim relation box and also the boxes that could help you to do some mathematics with the quaternion rotations. Um, so yeah, so let's start with the post transform and what is designed, uh, what is for. So I'm going to use an existing scene to have more quick uh, show uh, how it actually, uh, what is the plugin is doing. So we go to relation constraint and under the section of nail 3D, we have this post transform box. And also like I prepared some poses, uh, the two poses for the cube, the pose uh, from the left side. So we return off the relation constraint. We could select our cube and apply the pose, the pose number one, the pose number two. So this is how they look like. So the idea for this post transform relation box is that we have some weight from zero to 100 and we have some predefined poses which we define here so it's a six poses in total and then we also have the connection for the input uh, from the object where we're trying to read poses for so basically if we define the object here then we will read poses for, for this object. So we're trying to look at the name of this object and uh, things that are listening in, in the post, we can display connection editor. We see that there is the cube saved with the local rotation and local translation. That's where we're looking for. So either it's the, this one node connected or the, um, the object specific in the, the object property. And then we have output of a transform uh, which is combination of the input transform and uh, mixed with the poses and we have the final output. So if we have this blend, we enable this and we have this blend of the input, we see that we start getting into the pose of having this local, uh, receiving this local translation rotation. And then if we go to this one, we start having the post number two, trying to reach the post number two. So this is the post transform is about. So the next thing that I would like to show is the loop rotation. And the loop rotation is basically the logic um, which is behind the aim constraint we have in motion builder. But now all these things are exposed in the relation box called loop, translate, uh, loop rotation. What we need to pass here is basically the direction that we want to look into and the, the, the forward direction and the up direction. So when we pass this forward direction and the up direction, we see that now our object is looking towards the point that we want to in a quite stable way. So that um, you can use it in rigging and yeah do some custom logic around that so this is the um the loop rotation node and the final thing that i would like to show here will be about um, uh, there will be test quaternions i think that's what we're trying to show yeah test quaternions so we see here there is quite complex rotations happening. There is no animation recorded. And this is quite complex logic we have here. Uh, but the idea is that we have quaternion category, like a section with the commands so that we can convert early angle to quaternion, quaternion to early angle. And if you want to know more about the quaternion rotations, uh, there is a lot of material available from the mathematics side if you want to learn some tricks. So here I'm only presented the commands that you can deal with the mathematics with the quaternion. So this is the 
uh, make a quaternion from the axis rotation. So example like this. So you have the axis and angle, and then you have the rotation calculated from that. Then there is the interpolation between two quaternions, the invert of the quaternion, the loop rotation that I presented and uh, showed before. Quite similar, but now it has the output fully in quaternion instead of earlier. Then the multiplication of two quaternions, which means we just add two rotations. So when you want to add two rotations, you multiply quaternions. The normalization of quaternions is quite important because in most cases you need a normalized value uh, when you're trying to do um, some multiplication or rotation by the vector. So the, this one, uh, sort of vector rotated by a quaternion, this is what I'm using here. So if I want this object to be uh, like, if I want to recalculate the position, so it's not only uh, rotation I'm calculating here, but also the position around the node. So you see that I'm rotating my object and another box is always aligned and flying around, always flying around the line. And this is because I'm computing the rotation uh, with the offset around this node, around this object. So this is the vector. And the final transform uh, for the local tr translation that I computed, I'm computing using the quaternion and the box relation box rotate by. Yeah, so this is the brief description. In general, if you know uh, quaternion, uh, mathematics behind quaternion, I think it will be quite easy to understand what's going on here. I'm going to share the source code and some pre-compiled plugins um, uh, um, to, to these updated nodes. And also I'm going to share the test uh, scenes that I show in this video. And yeah, hope that will be useful for you. Thanks for watching and see you next videos. Bye.